hostile squad here. Okay, there's a guy that we saw while sprinting over here, but we're pretty close to the compound. Max's silhouette's looking a little dead. Yeah, I'm gonna go with dead. That's a very uncomfortable sleeping position. But uh, we're so close to the building, I feel like this guy might not be a patrol or if he is just really slow. So I guess just once we get in, watch out for these windows. He might be able to see us through. But otherwise, we're, uh, we're pretty much there. I'm moving kind of aggressively here, but... Affirmative. It seems for the most part this place actually isn't that secure. <laughs> move, move, move. Like, at all. I mean, I don't even hear turrets on top of this building. Because I don't really can hear them if you don't see them. Uh, I don't know. Not sure. Um, curiously, can we get... Mox, do you have a window? I was going to say, if you had a window, you could just, like, maybe send the gremlin in to hack the door from his side. This one dog might need to be careful of. But his vision seems really shed. Is this guy sleeping? What's his deal? I don't know. Mm, door's wide open. I suspect the alarm's gonna go off as soon as I go in. No? Okay. You, you guys have the windows alarmed, I'm pretty sure. But not the wide open door. Okay. Just in case. Yeah, I don't know if that guy's moving or not. We can see the door though. So we can hack it right here and now. Let's check it out. What do we got? Uh, unlock the door. Unlock this door without triggering security protocols. Okay. Or satellite data. Avenger scanning times reduced by 50% for four weeks. Ooh. I think I might go for this. To be totally honest with you. I mean, we'll have to fight our way out, but that's pretty useful. I still got uh, supplies and stuff to scan. So, you know, and who knows what else will pop up. Hmm. Let's try it. And then totally forget that I have that bonus. Okay, cool. We barely got it anyway. I'm <laughs> gonna totally forget we have this bonus and definitely not make use of these four weeks. Security. Firebrand is in position and the compound is on full alert. Time to move. Max alert. We're all revealed. Oh no. I could totally just conceal though. But meh. Uh, Orders confirmed. Moving out. Scoot up. Yeah, that guy sees you now. He woke up. Okay, just open the door. We've got the VIP in tow. Moving to evac. You say that, but we we actually don't have him at all. Can we break these walls? Do we know? I mean, just kill this guy. Get out of here. <laughs> the music fades out like, oh, sorry. <laughs> so it's got, uh, shouldn't damage him, but it's got the walls highlighted, so we'll be damaging a lot of the walls. Maybe we could just break out that way. Sort of like a backdoor type thing. Doesn't really save me much time, but I mean, the evac's right there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that helped a bit. Not sure. Orders confirmed. On the move. They're bringing in 
compound has reached maximum alert status. They put out a distress signal and we're already picking up multiple inbound transports. Multiple inbound transports. Okay. I'll uh, totally be on the lookout for those over here on the other side of the map. Let's see, do we get pods of three yet? Nope. Still just two. I've got eyes on an advent position. Hey. <laughs> That's not fair. On the move. Moving out. Running. Just in time. VIP secure and in position for Just in time. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Everything by the numbers. Mission accomplished. I just hope your soldier was not too scarred by the experience. As brief as it was. Yeah, okay. Uh, ten turns, yeah. Like, seven of those was just getting up to here. It was pretty far away, to be fair. Yeah, no photo of, like, Mox's unconscious body. Damn. With the shit on fire. Come on. There we go. Victory for XCOM, victory for Earth. With their prison on fire. Yes. <laughs> Prisoners who escaped from a detention facility today are considered armed and extremely dangerous. Advent urges all citizens to avoid any contact. A curfew is in effect tonight for your protection. It wasn't easy, but Mox has been safely returned, Commander. He's eager to get back into the fight. Ove's got max cohesion with... Nobody. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Good for you, Wolvie. Making friends. And Betuar. Yeah, is that Max Cohesion with like the two of you? Betuar and Ove? I don't. What's going on with that? I don't know. Not really sure. Huh. I am glad to return to your service, Commander. I will not forget what you and your soldiers have done for me. You seem pretty cool. I'm interested in your abilities. Efficiently executed and no casualties. You can lead the Reapers any day, Commander. Well done. <sighs> yep, yeah, thanks. I guess. Didn't really help the Reapers just then, though. Mm -hmm. So, these soldiers, we've got Mox, yeah? You yeah. know. Ooh, weapon upgrade. You know, the repeater might be okay with you because you can shoot twice, right? So the repeater might be all right for you. Hmm. Okay, soldier abilities, though. You know them as they were, the soldiers of Advent. Now they are free to choose. If you stay your course, Commander, they will stand with you until the end. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So, right, that's that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, 4x come abilities pretty much right off the bat. Okay, cool. Depending what these are, uh, I like this because if you end up getting, it's all RNG, but if you end up getting somebody who's just like, they get really, really lucky with the x uh, XCOM abilities, uh, they just, they become just like, holy shit, what a fucking awesome soldier. Like, hell yeah. And dude becomes legendary, basically. Uh, and I really like that. I like not all soldiers being equal. I like that a lot. 
but it's a bit biased because I just, I love RNG. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Uh, write your name, though, because you are not named Mox. You are named... Fireborn. First name. Cass. Awesome. And your nickname will change to Fireborn when I can change that. But awesome. There we go. You're in. I don't know. I might save this for when I know I've got a really good soldier that I don't want to lose ever. And their weapon, the uh, repeater would be, I think, really good because you get two shots, so you kind of roll twice. So I can't think of many better people to have this on. Sans may be the sniper's pistol because they get a uh, cool ability with their pistol. It can be replaced, but not reused. Still think that might be a little full of shit. I think I remember being able to remove them. I know PCS, I think there's a way you could remove these. Those. Them. But, uh, I don't know. Memory fails me. And then I get some mixed messages from comments sometimes, like somebody said that it actually changed for this DLC. No, I don't know, man. Okay. So let's see what we can do as far as scanning goes, because we have boosted scanners. This is the headquarters of the Skirmisher faction. They may look like Advent, but they sure don't act like it. Now that we've established contact, we can scan at this location to gain additional support for our cause. Commander, I believe it is time that we meet. I am Betos, first of the Freed Advent. You are safe here. Praetor Mox was new to our cause, but he believed in our people's freedom. In this alliance. In you, Commander. I shall do the same. My skirmishers stand ready, should you need them. May our people stand united until the false gods fall. God, Beethoven is one of those people you'd be talking to on the phone. And because they pause so long after every sentence, you're never sure if it's your turn to talk or not. And it just drives social anxiety. People just absolutely insane. Oh, God. Phones are bad enough as is. Uh, weak points. Private channel. This is all ring stuff though, right? Covert actions. Recruit scientist. Oh. Oh. oh okay, cool. Um. Yeah, I think that's all ring stuff that we can do. Because that's reassigned faction orders and such. All all those free oh, God. Elders bonds are eager to hear your orders, Commander. Oh, this is a card that I've unlocked. All mission timers increased by two turns. Resistance orders are powerful. Right, yeah. Oh, God. And this. Okay, so this is what that was at that previous screen. I thought these were additional ring things, but they're not. They're cards. Cool. And shredding does plus one shred. Ooh. That's actually pretty cool for, uh, well, that's okay. Hmm, I'm torn on that one. I was gonna say it's really good for late game, but... Hmm, only plus one. I think it would still take two grenadiers to, uh, bring down really heavily armored things. I don't know, maybe. And, uh, build faster is their thing, but I need to make contact first, right? Or no? I'm not sure. Let's go for the supplies Avenger real quick. New I'm assuming the scanner was retroactive. Our research was a success, Commander. I don't remember how much time I had left on that. Uh, new research. These magnetic based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. God, I can tell it's loud because their noise floor is like already pretty massive. Just wincing in preparation for her shooting. Commander, if we intend on discovering the purpose of the chip we extracted from you, we'll need to conduct the appropriate research as soon as possible. Ooh, Gauss weapons. Continue. Oh, right. Yeah, these are like the basics. Rifle, gun, pistol. 
and then Gal's weapons are like the um, the sniper rifle, the heavies gun, the shotgun. That's right. Commander, the science team has grown particularly interested in this field of research, so much so that their inspiration could lead to vast improvements in our research efficiency. However, we must act fast. Despite their brilliance, they are a fickle group. Sorry, I went through those weapons pretty quick. Uh, just a bit of flavor tags for them, though. So we're inspired to do this so it gets finished up real, real quick. But this unlocks the whole Skulljack thing, which I wouldn't be doing right away anyway, but... You know, I suppose it only takes one day, so... Word as soon as we have something of note. I guess. Sure. Strategic resource located. Ugh, not now. Although, more intel. Cool. Resistance Ahead contacts would be a good thing, though. Course. Cause that's just that's what this is, and if I get enough of these, I won't need to build the uh, the satellite building at all. So much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It it is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. New objective added. Examine an Advent Officer corpse. Okay. Tell me more. Yeah, okay. Let's just read the quest log kind of stuff still. The Advent Officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. And continue on. Now we can research corpses. The corpses unlock new weapons, accessories, sometimes technologies. I don't think many of them are just flavor text. I think a lot of them actually lead to something, which is quite nice. And that is just staff and engineer and soldiers heal up faster if they get wounded. And that's now instant. Oh, cool. Sure. Though I was never witness to one myself, <laughs> countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. Sectoid's rapid physical evolution over the past 20 years is a testament to both the aliens' mastery of genetic engineering and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risks. So I guess that was instant just because we've killed so many of them. I'm not sure. The mind shield, which I don't recall ever really using because... For the most part, the sectoids were pretty... They're easy. You either just kill them or you flashbang them if you really need to, so... I never did the mind shield, and I think to craft it, you needed a bunch of... bunch of stuff that I never really... Okay, fine, I'll check back in a bit. Uh, never really... 
got around to doing it. 11 days for these guys, but this unlocked the... <sighs> I don't remember. I want to say it was pretty decent, but again, it was something I never really used. <laughs> I never needed to. Yeah, I guess we'll do the... Uh... The better er weapons. I agree. That is an important task, Commander. Definitely. I totally wouldn't have said that, regardless of what you chose, Commander. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Build items, mine shield. Oh, no, okay. It doesn't really require anything too crazy. Hmm. I mean, it makes you immune to stunts, which is really cool. So the uh, stun guys aren't that much of a threat. So if you have kind of a forward scout type guy and you know you're going against stun lancers, the mind shield would be good to equip on them. You just have to know ahead of time. And I need alien alloys for all of this. And two engineers for some of these. Oh, man. Oh, for the fancy guns. Okay. Okay. Still need to build a resistance ring, but you give me a minute. I need more. <laughs> I need more engineers in a pretty bad way. Man. One engineer. I take no satisfaction in battle with those who do not know it and would not seek it. But I am beholden to my master's will, and they would silence all questions. Okay. So the knowledge increased just our friends in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. Just a time based thing. Nothing in particular. There is something about the ring where I could try to confront them, maybe, and that will uh, bring down their little whatever. So it's kind of like a mini avatar project type thing where you do a particular ring operation to beat them back, I guess. Oh, congrats. Uh, flood the specialist now. And... I think we had one more Commander, rookie we could throw in here. The factions have indicated they know how to track down the Chosen. We should construct the ring facility so they have a place to coordinate. Working on it. You will also be a specialist, I think. Awesome. Now, uh, Intel. Avenger plotting new course. Okay, I can't just go over there and scan it, huh? Hmm, interesting. Okay, but being able to build faster, I wonder if that counts for digging too. Looks like maybe no. Commander, we just got word that the resistance hit an advent supply line. We have an opportunity to salvage some high value materials, assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. Right. Like a reverse terror. Oh, right there. Um the lost are known to be present in the surrounding area. Caution advised. That's a sit rep. That's also going to be the dark event soon, so ooh. But yeah, we'll Ready head over there and do that then. For South Africa. I wasn't sure if maybe this would speed up the digging at all or not, just so we can get to the ring faster, because fucking hell. Commander, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Mm-hmm. We'll bring Dragonfly along, just because the uh, the scouting is really good for them. Ove, sure, for the aid. Bayless, because, well, yeah. Uh, Bator, Explosives, Loss. Let's take out Sam N for a bit. Let's get in Rogue. So we got the combo back. Rogue's been out for a little while anyway. And Bator, maybe swap you out for another Sharpshooter, Pab? Two Sharpshooters. Maybe another Specialist. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Cass. Hmm. 
What a team. All right, we'll try that. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Latest intel suggests Advent ran into problems while airlifting supplies from a secure depot in this area. We have an opportunity here to take advantage of their delay. Locate their supply crates and tag them with our transponders. Firebrand will pick up the signal and snatch the cargo. I gotta say, I do like the little snippets he does because it's just... It gives it more of a, we're fighting back and taking advantage of every one of their fuck-ups a little bit. Like, something happened. There's a bit of a delay. We're like, oh shit, well, okay, let's, let's go for it. And yeah, uh, it's just, it's it's good flavor text. I like it. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area. And we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders, and Firebrand will handle the rest. Okay. So there are 12 of them. Okay. This was acting a little bit more like the uh, terror sites used to. I kind of want to get somebody up in that building. I like these environments. 